I just don't think that people should be called by their job occupation. I don't want them any even to call me coach. Some do, but I don't. I really don't like being called coach. I'd rather be called John. I think from when you start here, it's it's uh, part of football and part of the community in general is is the exact things that the Gallardi Trophy kind of represents from John specifically that that there's there's more to life than than. Uh, the academics and there's more to life than football and athletics. You learn that uh, what you do and, and what how you affect other people is uh, as important or more important than anything else you can do. I'm John Gallardi, longtime coach here at St. John's. All college campuses, and particularly I think Division Three, they're 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 the national gems. For example, on most Division Three teams. They, there are no scholarships. They're all students, and uh, they're all great places, campuses, and uh, so to be exposed there and to get through college in a lot of tough colleges, uh, they have to be equipped to do it. And the fact that they get it done just shows that that they're going to succeed in life. So there I was a senior in high school at age 16, 1943, the World War II was going on and every able-bodied guy is gone. Our coach, I don't know whether he enlisted or drafted, I don't know what happened to him, but we didn't, they were going to drop football because they didn't have anybody to replace him. A lot started because of the way I approached it as a, what you might call a player coach. We don't have no practice apparatus, no blocking sleds, no nothing. We just have people. No blocking dummies, tackling dummies. As a matter of fact, we're not going to tackle anybody anyway. I'm sure that no one else in the history of football has gone through uh, a season, let alone 20 or 30 seasons, without ever making a tackle on a practice field. And probably the biggest reason we do it is to prevent injuries. You know, most people protect their quarterbacks and their star receivers, but I figure, well, you know, uh, the other players, they all are human beings, uh, and uh, they all have mothers who love them <laughs> and don't want them to get hurt. So, so we, we, we try to protect them all. He's an interesting man. Uh, he's, he's taken uh, a road and an approach that, that's not traditionally been accepted uh, for success and I think that's ultimately a, a tribute to him and so I think that uh, his unique approach uh, really teaches you that there's a lot of different ways that you can be successful um, and it doesn't always have to be the mainstream way. I don't know that I contribute anything it's the fact that somehow I think I don't screw them up too much because they come here as quality people. Everybody's got gifts that they, they have and uh, certainly um, all the nominees for the Gallardi Trophy have a lot of gifts and those gifts um, are partially athletic, partially academic, but also more important or as important would be their community service and what they can do to give back and help others. His approach, the way, the way he approaches football and the, and the lessons he teaches on the football field transcend football. Um, they're more than, than just uh, um, how you can be successful on Saturday afternoon. They're how to be successful uh, every day of the week and for the rest of your life. There are a lot of good football players in this country. <laughs> every high school's got a couple of guys that are very, very good. So the colleges get all these very, very good high school players and uh, when you get bona fide student athletes, they're, they're good people. It helps the college. We've always been blessed with those kind of people and hopefully will continue to be.